420 aircraft carrier mini plane grapes now set balloons on fire. 400 aircraft carrier mini plane frontal darts gain a very powerful homing effect. Frontal darts damage increase 1 to 2. Radial darts damage increased 2 to 4, and frontal range attack increased 200 to 250. Basically, the aircraft carrier 400 boat is insane. And adding the 420 boat to it makes it more insane. So today we're going to be testing it out on chimps mode by itself. I want to see how far it can go. And the reason why we can do this is because now you have that retry last round in chimps. So you don't have to feel bad about yourself if you get too far and you lose. So we're going to put a boat here and we're going to see what this 420 can do. Because I tested it out a little bit and it soloed 76. It soloed the ceramic rush of 78 and it had no problem doing it. Now I'm thinking on this map, it's a little short. So maybe we'll have to add like a jungle drums to it or maybe at least like an alchemist, but it is insane what this thing does. If you don't believe me, play with it in sandbox or just follow along with this video because it's about to get crazy here. Now I've used the boat a lot, but I've never really liked the fourth tier boat because the planes always miss and it's good for a little bit here and there, but they always miss and it drives me insane. But what's really cool, I don't know why I went with that top path though. I'm just so excited I bought the wrong upgrade. We should go with grape shots first because that can hold us on way longer, but we're almost there at that 595. So it's not a big deal here. There we go. And I chose end of the road because it's a beginner map so we can like fully test out the features of the boat rather than worrying about the map. And then it's also short enough to give it some difficulty. It's not like frozen over where you got like three hours to hit the balloons or like log or anything like that so i thought it'd be fun and intense but also learning full because this thing is busted it, it, it's busted i want to say it's busted it's gonna get nerfed maybe i'm just overreacting but a 400 tower for what 10 grand 13 grand or something should not be able to solo pass in the 70s that's a little weird but because they have that homing effect, it just destroys them all. And then the fire keeps regrows from regrowing and it just destroys ceramics. It's just really, 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 really good. Now I'm so excited that I totally forgot Geraldo. So I got ahead of myself and I forgot to get Geraldo. We need him for his camo because otherwise we won't have enough for a village camo this early on. So that's where Geraldo comes into play. But I think we could one tower. Would that be one tower champs? No, no, no. We're not going to make it to one tower champs. What am I getting on about? I just want you to see how far this thing can go just with the 420. I'm over here going like, oh, one tower champs. Like there's no way a fourth tier boat is going to be taken on DDTs. But I do think it could probably take out like a ZOMG, which is just wild. And if you can't tell from my excitement, I test this thing in sandbox and it, it, it kind of can't. It's, it's pretty wild that it could at least take it out. I haven't tested it fully on this map, so things will get a little weird, but wow, I'm excited. So this update's been all about balance changes. And there's always a lot of balance changes in every update, but this one's been like back and forth. And what I mean by that is like, for instance, like the sniper, the second tier top path has been lowered down, which is really cool. But then you're like, oh, that's great. But then the main mob been raised to, to match it. So it's all the same there. Can we not take this out with what we got? We're one tower short, but we can retry last round. That is so cool. That's what I was really excited about here, to be honest. Can we sharpen this guy? We can sharpen him, but he can pop lead. No way. So you can sharpen him because his darts, but not the fire thing. But this should be enough to at least take this out, right? No. All right, but it doesn't matter because we can retry last round. So we'll go like this and then we'll put him on strong like we did so we can only attack those. And then back to first, hopefully, 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 back to strong, back to first. Did we make it? Did we make it, guys? We made it? We made it? Okay, we made it. Oh my gosh, that was actually kind of wild. Okay, and another example is going to be like the top path dartling gunner. So it lowered the cost of the third tier laser, but then it raised the price of the fourth tier laser. So it's, it's kind of like that a lot, except for one tower though. Let me tell you, the boomerang third tier top path is actually really good and cheap yeah they killed the pierce on it so it can't go as far but it can still solo around 36 so you don't automatically have to go for the druid middle path you could just go for a much cheaper top path with a bottom path boomerang to pop those leads if you need to take those down so obviously the druid's superior but that's a lot cheaper if you're short on money just a lot of cool little changes like that or the fact that this one now has fire for its top path just a lot of weird things but i'm excited about it like another one i'm interested in trying out is striker jones i think they've finally made him a good hero supreme was telling me that it adds five percent attack range to all towers in range and 25 percent pierce to all towers in range which is just purely crazy i need to stop reading things and we need to get back to business here give it some camo but that's actually really cool because i never use striker because you know why i'm not really the biggest mortar fan and then the bombs yeah, you use them every once in a while, but not enough of them like striker would make sense. So if you get a, 
a damage range to everybody and a pierce range and all that kind of stuff. Like that could be pretty nuts. Now, eventually here, I'm going to get a village so we don't have to worry about any of this camo anymore, but I just want to get to that aircraft carry so we can take down the Moab. I think we'll have enough for it. And then it's just going to sit here and take its time and just destroy everything. And just like that, with a little bit of work and a Geraldo for the camo and a little bit of sharpness and given if you would have been on a map like middle of the road or logs or resort or anything else you would not have needed Geraldo other than the camo so awesome stuff there can we still sharpen him even when he's like this you can okay that's not bad now he's get the camo thing here and now i'm just gonna let this roll but first i want to show you what's going on so now you get these like homing missiles in the front or homing darts and then everything's shooting grape shots that are fire so when you have regrows and other things that are causing problems it doesn't matter did he not see the camo do the planes still not see the camera? That's kind of weird, right? No, they can. They have to be able to. They're just off in the corner, which is why I never liked these guys. But now that they have that like frontal homing thing, it's not that terrible. And they can pop. Oh my gosh, that means they can pop lead. That's actually huge. Because if they're right in front of it, they'll pop it with the grape shot fires and pop lead, which they couldn't do before, I don't think, right? They would just sit there and just get destroyed to lead. That's really good. And you know something I never noticed or never knew, but it was always curious about? I was wondering if you could buff the boat with the alchemist and then it actually affected the planes, which I'm pretty much certain it does because I was testing it in the sandbox to pop lead without the middle path. And all I had to do was use an acidic mixture dip and it would, which would assume that the alchemist does in fact buff the planes, which is awesome. Because if we can add that to it later, if we hit a little snag in this, but so far we're halfway through the rounds and it's just the fourth tier boat. We already have $23,000 left, which is crazy. I'm curious about our first BFB because that will set the stage for the ZOMG. And if we're taking it out that before it even gets to the second bend here. Oh, no, 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 no. I think we can take out. Oh, what about 63, though? If it takes out 63, that's unbelievable. Like, this is the new half cash tower. Like, get it while you can, guys. They're going to nerf this. Take every half cash game you've had struggles with and use this tower and you've won. Because I don't see us having any issues until we get there. I mean... Grand, I could be wrong, but we have $40,000. So if that was half the cash, you'd have about probably what? Like you'd say half in your head, but it wouldn't be because you'd already have costed more to get this one. So let's say you had 10 grand even. You could just buy a bomb. But I think this will make it because I don't know why it didn't right there. So it made the first rush just fine. Should I move him to strong? What, what happened there? So we just miss him by a couple. So I'll leave him on strong and see if that helps. And then we could just use that for half cash in the future like always. No, that did not work either. This, the retry last round is beautiful, by the way, guys. Like, ultimately, amazingly beautiful. Now, if you're using Geraldo, you could just get this one. But I'm thinking, I don't want to use Jungle Drum, so I feel like that's cheating. But, I mean, at the same time, it's not cheating. Like, it's a village. Like, we're going to use villages. Oh, my gosh. You see, that one just completely miss. It didn't even do it. So, you have to make sure your planes are in a good spot, which is just stupid. Oh, my gosh. And now we're just shredding through it like it's nobody's business because I was at a different spot with the plane. That's so goofy. Oh, my goodness. I've done nothing different, by the way. I just have jungle drums. That's how this works with the plane. That's why I was never the biggest fan of it. And maybe we'll lose there. Nope, we caught that one. So, we try enough times, you'll win. That's how this game works. But, obviously, if you're trying to go for, like, a black border run, that wouldn't work. But if you're going on half cash mode, you could just hit home real quick. Or, why would you be using just this boat? You could also have, like, a bomb. Like, just one recursive cluster right here, plus this would be amazing. Because he's tearing up every mob class and every balloon. And then you just put this guy there. Recursive cluster, top path, blubzinga. Everything's cleaned up. Everything's gone. Now, what I'm curious about is if I upgrade to the fifth tier, if it's going to be worse. Because I saw some stuff there that I didn't really like for instance flagship mini plane darts projectile count goes from one to two which is good but pierce is reduced from 14 to seven that's half damage type goes from normal to sharp i tried testing that but i don't know what that actually means like it seems like it's the same exact thing unless sharp is better so you guys will let me know 520 makes the great types damage fire but we already had that the fourth tier so that makes absolutely no sense and then main attack projectile radius no longer increased Gun projectile speed no longer increase. Ace radial projectile speed no longer increase. And radius no longer increase. So it just kind of nerfed everything. I don't know what that increase thing was about. I never actually saw that or used that. But who knows? All I know is we have $57,000 on chimps mode. And we have a fourth tier tower in a village. Now we used Geraldo because we wanted the camo. But imagine if we would have led with Sada. We wouldn't need anything. Sada would have carried until we had enough for whatever we wanted. And I just think that's insane. And if we're, we're taking down 75, I don't know if we're going to be able to take this one down, though. I really don't think so. So getting to 76 is going to be a chore. 
but I don't want to add anything. I really don't. So we're going to try to make this work because if we can, it's all about the planes again. Let's just take out everything hard first and then go clean these ones up. No, so that's the problem. We, we got to have them on first just to clean up there. But if we go on strong, 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 and then back to first, maybe we never wanted it on strong, but look at it coming back at these things. There's no chance, right? No chance, no chance. Okay, one more try on first. Let's let it be. Maybe it was a timing. Okay, that is not going to work. So let's add a sharpness here and that's it. That's doing a lot. Like that's doing a lot, a lot, a lot. But I didn't want to use it on 76. So I wanted to show you that we could do it without it. So that's kind of a bummer, but it looks like we can't beat it regardless because this thing's a, a crazy mess. So I wonder what pickle juice will do. Like he's already a pretty fast attacking tower. So would this make him better? It does definitely not. Definitely not makes him better. So I think what we should do here is just add a glue gunner and just call it a day. Probably up front, but I want to see how far we can get with the, uh, actually I should have put it up front, huh? That'd probably make more sense. What an idiot. But I wanted him to be camoized for when we get to those DDTs. So that's fine. It'll do, still do a good amount of damage. And then we still lose. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're gonna go like this down to this one because that's been cheapened up a lot. And then we're gonna grab an alchemist and that should be game right here. I didn't want to use this glue because that'll like guarantee 76, but it's still cool. Like nonetheless, it's still cool. He just gets overwhelmed by all of the balloons. That's all there is to it. But I mean, we're still doing really good. Yeah, see the glue helped a lot. Let's just keep it like that. We'll get through this whole thing into the 80s. No problem. Watch this. This will be awesome. Oh my gosh. Before the second bend even came back around underneath the boat, we had this thing. Look at this rush on 78. Just go bye bye. And that's the camo rush of all those ceramics. It's just crazy what a glue gunner will do, you know? Like, it's such a good support tower. Like, I don't let it know I said that, but it is a really good support tower. And this guy's 307, 310,000 pops right now. Unfortunately, I had to use another tower that does get pops, but I think you'd still manage two mega pops with this guy by using what we have here, obviously. Oh, is he starting to hit finally? Geraldo, look at him. He's like zaps them a little bit because they're so big. That's crazy. But here's our first ZOMG. I'm curious to see what happens and we're going to take it out. I'm thinking like right here, it'll break down to BFBs. It just this glue gunner doesn't actually help us with this though. It's kind of uh, kind of useless, but no, no, because we'll break it down right now and he'll get them all and then boom, 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 boom. And it's a little too much and we couldn't take it. What else do we need to do here? So if we go for this one, we have saved $200 than what we would normally do. But so far it looks like we've saved $800 from getting just to a 032 than we normally would. That's how much they lowered tier two and tier three of the glue. I'm thinking another slowdown tower, but I kind of just want to go with this one because I think that's all we need at the end is just a cleanup. And it's good to have this one regardless. But I'm thinking too, like if you did this right, you might be able to, are those faster or no? I don't think those are. I don't think those benefit from the overclock because it looks like we're in the exact same spot we were. But we should have unlimited uptime with this thing now. So I don't have to worry about like re-upping it. So that should be good. Oh, wow, cool. Cool, and it's gonna always be there if we need it. That's actually really awesome. But I'm thinking on like one, two, tree, if you play your cards right, since that's a really long map and it gives you a lot of time to attack. I'm wondering if you could take this tower and use it to get like an amazing, amazing fifth tier tower. Like let's say spiked mines or something insane like that. Oh, come on, one balloon. Okay, we got it, we got it. This is scary, this is scary, this is scary. We got it though, right? No, 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 a blue balloon, a blue balloon. We are catching some bad luck here though. What else can we do? I'm thinking just a regular old glue gunner right here. No damage, just help, and then we're good. So these ceramics are a little too much for our boat there. What are they doing? Go this way. Oh my goodness. When they attack, they're great, but it's just like a, it's just a luck. It's a luck-based draw at that point. I keep thinking we're finally gonna meet our match and then he just destroys everything. And yes, I'm overclocking and I'm alchemisted, but I mean, this is still really good for a fourth tier tower that costs $7,000. Okay, we have two ZMGs. There's no way. There's no way it could take this down, but you never know. I mean, what if it can? We do have them slowed down and then we have this glue gunner to catch up and then we are overclocked. So you never know. And it looks like we're doing exactly what we did on the first ZOMG. So why wouldn't we be able to do it on the second one since we're overclocked now? And it looks like we're good. Oh my goodness. Right, 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 right. Okay, okay. We just took down 85. If we could go all the way to 90 with DDTs, this is just ridiculous. This is purely ridiculous. All right, we got like five ZOMGs now, or at least four. There's no chance of this. I'm gonna keep overclocking here just to make sure. And is there anything else we could do here? We could go permanent brew on a fourth tier boat. That would just be goofy. But all we have to do is do what we just did earlier. And these are slowing them all down. I mean, there's really nothing we can't do here. 
but he is an alchemist at all the time. So I'm thinking we could even benefit from like another alchemist since he's like not really doing everything he should be doing, honestly. Cause I'm trying to save as much money as possible. So let's go with this one actually. And then we could even fire Jerry, but we'll do that after if we need to. What does this little shredder thing actually do on Jerry? Does it just make it like a little stronger, a little more damage? I mean, they are breaking down a little bit sooner and that's all we really needed. So maybe that, that helps, but it doesn't seem like it's that big of a difference to be honest. And if all we really need is a button on Jerry that makes the planes fly in one direction all the time, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like not go off the course and fly off the map like this one's about to do. See, look at, they are really, really strong. Like they are brokenly strong when they feel like it. That's the problem. It's when they feel like it. Okay, the glue gunner has all these in his bag right now. So this is good. We just took it down with just an extra sharpening stone. I think a lot of that was a slowdown too. Like it just felt good. But I really, really want to get the DDTs with this setup right here. This is so cool. We also can just ultra boost them too at the end if you wanted to. Or we can go homeland defense and make them really silly. There's so many options. But I don't think that the overclock is actually doing anything with the planes. I think it's just the boat. That's what I'm kind of figuring out. Cause look at the planes are still going and then they're still going the same exact speed. Nothing has changed. So that is very odd given the fact that they're alchemisted, like the acidic mixture dip works on those planes, but not those. A little weird, but whatever gets it done. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Dude, come on. What are, dude, somebody, somebody, one of you that are over there, can you can you kind of attack the balloons for me there? That's what we're trying to accomplish. All right, relentless glue glue strike and glue splatter. So now everybody's slow. They slow down forever. And now this guy slows everything else down. And now this guy is super strong. That's all we needed the whole time. And if we need to, we can Jerry's fire, but we could also pickle. If you overclock and then pickle juice, now aren't you stronger, but also fast? Like, look at it, look at it, look at it. He's still gonna shoot crazy fast. He's just stronger now that he does it. I like that. That's actually not that bad to me. And the planes aren't gonna do anything anyway. <laughs> so it's just like, whatever. Oh, I think we got it this time. We got it this time. Pickle juice, pickle juice. And I think this one helped too a lot, to be honest. But we're almost there to the DDTs and that's what I wanted. We're getting to the nineties with a fourth tier boat. Here it is. Can we do it? Can we do it team? I think we can. Just one of them. One of them, take them out. Take them out, take them out. Oh, you suck, you suck, you suck. Okay, we're gonna do this again, but we're gonna go on strong this time. Oh, that was, that was bad. That was bad, but I think we could do it, okay? Let's do the glue now just in case because I think it still works. Why did that work so easy that time? Because I'm on strong. Dude, I should just leave it on strong, huh? Like, who cares? Like, does it matter? I think it does, right? But no, the boat's still going to attack anything in its face. It doesn't care. I say that, but it's like, okay, come on, dude. I think we've reached our limit. This is getting out of hand. But I mean, if we can, oh gosh, we're going to do it again. This is getting way too ridiculous. <laughs> this is nuts. And we're at $72,000. This is so cool. And we can still, if this guy gets out of the way, we can still manage to get two mega pops with this. But I think eventually we're going to have to buy the boat. Like we're going to have to buy the boat. Okay, not a chance on this one. No chance. Let me, what if I go, no, 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 no. Just, just glue it, just glue it. Nope, too much, too much, too much, too much. Okay, what else can we do here? I'm going to do call to arms. Oh, dude, that's all of our money. Okay, let's not spend it all yet. Let's not get too crazy. But I think with an overclock and a homeland and pickle juice, look at this thing. It can't even keep up with the frame rate. That's how good it is, I think. I hope, anyways. Where'd the call to arms go? Is it already gone? Is it that short? Dude, homeland's way better. Dude, homeland's way better. Oh, I think we're gonna have to buy it anyway, because that sucked. What if, I mean, we could also do like a, oh, we got it actually, we got it, maybe. Dude, we almost got it. If glue can keep it up, okay. I like it. Homeland, 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 or call to arms, whatever you call it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we lost our pickle juice, man. Oh, no, 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 no. We got to keep that going for sure. I'm wondering if this guy would have been better because we had enough for Ultra Boost or like permanent brew. I wonder if those would have been a better call because obviously we can't make this. This is too much for us. We have pickle juice, sharpening stones, overclocks, call to arms. This is not enough for us. But maybe though, maybe we could buy this one and throw it on there. And now look at it go. Dude, Homeland is where it's at. That is a shredder by my, anybody's standard, that's a shredder. And we're just gonna go like this if we break it all open, hopefully, 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 get him, get him. Okay, no, 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 that's my fault for not starting with Homeland, so we'll do that. So I'm thinking I should wait till everybody's in my face and just go blah, 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 blah. And then it should regenerate too, right? Maybe, 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 maybe. No, I just need to do, take these ones out. So like the homeland has to last for all of this right now. Come on. It doesn't seem like it. It didn't make it. Dude, we can't. We can't do this. We can't do it. 
We're gonna have to get the plane. Okay, we'll use chopper chopper. We got the pickle juice. We got the homeland. I think we can even get this guy and slow it down. I mean, honestly, that's probably enough to do it right there, the slower downer guy. So I think we'll be able to get it. And then can we use it though is the problem. Come on, come on. Okay, we got it. We got it. So now I can, I guess, homeland now just to get everything out of my face and then I'll slow it down as soon as I can. But this thing's gonna run out is like instantly. It's really not that good. So we can slow it down, 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 take them out, take them out. And see, I have the glue. And then if we can just take down these ones, we're good. Oh, dude, the plane's actually in the right spot for once. We cleared it out. Come on, dude, we made it so far. Don't lose to that one or that one or that one. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Now, now I'm excited. This is what we're here for. We are on 95. We have a homeland and overclock. We're gonna have the regenerative thing ready too. So we're gonna overclock it and we'll homeland when we need to, but we're still good. We'll slow it down first, actually. Slow it down, slow it down. Oh, dude, we're gonna take 95 out with a fourth tier boat. A fourth tier boat. And I was gonna do this now because we have to. We're, at one point, you're gonna have to hit that button and that's fine, because now it'll regenerate. The boat is the best. I've always told you that the boat is the best next to the spirit, and there's no denying it now. We do have Jerry's fire. I mean, we, we have some help. And we can't do two Mega Pops anymore because this guy's over 40,000 Pops. But if this is on logs, we wouldn't need any of this, all right? So just keep that in mind. But I'm afraid I'm gonna keep having to overclock and home, well, obviously overclock, but Homeland though. Do I need to right now or can I wait? I like, cause I need it for, four. actually I don't need nothing for 97. It'll take three hours to even get to me. So we could actually slow this down and then Homeland. But now we don't have anything to fight off the, uh, the ZOMG, okay. But no, now it's just two or three regular ZOMGs, which we've been dealt with for like 47 rounds here now. So we're used to this. Spoke too soon, spoke too soon. Okay, Homeland, 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 Homeland. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Take those out, take those out. Why are they popping open like that? Like, why do they just explode? That's just the weird thing to me. Like, is it this guy? Since another overclock wouldn't help us, nothing else is really gonna help that well. I think our best bet would be to buy another I'm thinking glue or save up for glue storm, but then I'm also thinking just another slowdown guy would be also pretty solid because then we'll have two of them. So we'll slow this one down now and it should be enough for it because I'm trying not to use Homeland until like those ZOMGs are in my face. So there we go. And if it gets too crazy, we'll just slow it down again like that. There we go. And they'll take out all those balloons. I lied. We're not going to take down the balloons. You stupid monkey. Okay. I don't know why I didn't do that before. I just used Homeland like first, as soon as it came out and then you're okay. And then I could just Homeland again for this next one. Like, I don't know why I didn't think of that. All right, so we'll slow it down, let him destroy him like naturally. And then we'll Homeland everything to clean it up. And I think we can take on all these balloons. I don't see why not. Maybe though. No, maybe not. Maybe not. Slow him down, slow him down. We, do we get it? Oh my gosh, we got it. Okay, now 97, everything regenerates. So we don't care. It's gonna just come back to life. Now, should we go with Glue Storm? Pelts the whole screen with glue for 20 seconds. Like that's cool, but is it gonna really help us out? I think though that we're kind of done for a 98. So we probably should get like another ninja at least, right? Are we gonna take these down naturally? No way, right? No way. I got to use glue strike, but that's not that bad. And then maybe slow this down. It's working. I mean, I'm happy with, I'm happy with that for sure. Now I don't have pickle juice anymore or the sharpening stone. So sharpening 100% need, why not? I don't know if we need the pickle juice though. I don't know if that helps us or hurts us, but this I'm gonna tell you is a straight up no-go. Like this isn't gonna happen. So I'll use this now and clear up everything. Slow it down even, slow it down again. Maybe I should even slow it down again. Like just keep slowing it down. Yeah, that's just too much. And then we still have all those ZOMGs and BFBs, but we're actually clearing out the front. That was crazy. Okay. So we're gonna go sharpening. We're gonna do with the pickle. I think that was working. And then we're going to grab and two more of these guys actually. The goal is to keep them going indefinitely. So we'll go now and then we'll homeland, get that stuff cleaned up and then it's done. So we'll use another one and that one's done. So we'll use another one. Oh, we're not gonna have enough time though. So you do need four unfortunately, but we should have enough for, no, oh, that's not gonna work guys. Homeland's not gonna cover it. So I've tried pretty much everything at this point and I don't think we can make it work. Unfortunately, we have met our match and I didn't prep good enough. I probably shouldn't have gone with Homeland now that I'm looking at it. I probably should have gone with Ultra Boost or 
a shattering shells and I'm just having to throw in any damage I can get at this point to help me out because we have gone to the breaking point. And it's just too much for him and that's what I kind of figuring out. So like I've, when you have the like ZOMGs and all the BFBs in your face, you can't attack the Moabs and so they make it too far and we can't clean them up. Next thing leads to another and then you got this like terrible thing going on. So maybe we could just throw a genie down. Genie! Genie will actually carry it through because Geraldo's broken, right? If I would have done that earlier, you don't even think about, you could just homeland, use the heart and then homeland again. Like that's another option too, just to wreck everything. We could do that. It's actually not bad at all. So as soon as we lose homeland, we'll check it out. So as soon as it's gone, we'll actually slow some stuff down some more too. Do we even need to? No, we got this as it is. That's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Let me tell you, we got the genie still. Can we slow everything? The genie can't. No way, right? No. Dude, it's still this guy tearing it all down. Oh, dude, we took it down. We did it. We could do a first strike right now to finish this off if we need to. We could just, maybe let's see if we could actually attack it. But why wouldn't you have a genie? Just do the genie and then we'll do the homeland and then heart it and do another homeland. That's what I'm saying here, guys. And then we'll heart it, do another homeland. Once it's done, use that one, use that one, do that. Oh my gosh. We spent all of our money, yes, but it was the fourth tier boat. So to help prove the point that this boat is broken, here's round 81 and all I have is a jungle drums village. So 220 village and the boat, fourth tier boat. We've made it this far. I don't think we're gonna be able to beat this one. We've been struggling a little bit here and there and it looks like we're almost there, but we can't get through that first line of defense. But you know what? Just one little glue gunner is gonna take us the distance and you know it will, that's what's crazy. So I'm all the way to round 100. I didn't have to spend most of my money, $82,000 left. The only thing with pops is this guy with 1,500 just because I had a bad placement of him and same with this guy with 12 pops. Everybody else has none. So this is the two mega pops achievement. Unfortunately, I don't think we can do it with what we have here, but I noticed that I don't even have pickle juice and I have not even once used Jerry's fire. So if we add that to the mix, we still have $81,000 left. We're gonna take this thing down with ease probably. And then what I was thinking too is like, couldn't you technically like, instead of going for all the glue gunners like I did, what if we went for a bottom path plane and then went for the Spectre? Couldn't you technically have enough money to get to the Flying Fortress? Cause we almost have enough for it as it is. And this guy would have not been needed because we would have had the power of the specter. At least that's my thought process. So you might be able to even get like a flying fortress or a top path spike or even a ray of doom in chimps mode with this boat now. Like that's pretty crazy. And we're really close to that 2 million. That's what we're looking for. And there it is. There's 2 million pops with a boat, fourth tier boat. What do you want? What do you want? Okay, that's not gonna work though, is it? We still can't do it. We still can't do it. Just gotta buff him up a little bit, guys. He's almost there. That alchemist definitely helped. If we can pop it before it gets there, we're good. I think we're good. Yes, that's all we needed. Woof. And this guy ended up getting 300 pops. So we're still there. We still have our 2 million. So I'm down a little bit more because we can don't lose now, dude. That would be so embarrassing. That would be so embarrassing. Let's use our first ability here and hope that it helps. Come on, come on, come on. A red balloon, a red balloon. Honestly, this guy can eat it. We're done. That's it. That's all I needed to do. Just first strike it. Always first strike. Why not? We did it. I'm happy with it. <laughs> One million night. <laughs> we didn't get the two mega pops. Maybe next time. And if you haven't yet, check out this footer. We speed run black border sunken columns. That means every single game mode as fast as we possibly can on an advanced map. And we get an amazing time. You have to check it out.